Chris Henderson here from Northern Tribe Outdoors and it is another great day out on the marsh and uh, it, we took a, a week off for the week after Thanksgiving and uh, been moving and doing all kinds of goofy things and so it is good to get back out on the marsh again. We're seeing a few more birds out here today which uh, that's really good news. We got out here early in the morning for us um, just about daylight and uh, but uh, we're going to be hunting the hunting the switch, the incoming and the outgoing, and it's a big tide today, big 14.5. So, and that's really weird because when you're hunting a bean field in Iowa, you don't expect, you just don't expect big tides like that. But uh, here we are, and so the birds just want to confirm the birds are here in Iowa. Uh, so you guys can uh, go ahead and flood the spot because uh, they're they're here, that's for sure. So we'll see see how it goes. Hope springs eternal. You know, we come out here and have a poor day and we get excited about the next time. So we're excited about the next time. And uh, dogs are ready to go. Typical spread, a couple dozen Avian X Widgeon decoys, which are the only Widgeon decoy on the market worth buying. And uh, Avian X, please feel free to contact me about sponsoring me. And then there is the uh, Tangle Free Stand Up Decoys. Uh, one dive bomb volunteer he just joined the flock um, and then uh, a couple of G&H mallard decoys those are uh, G&H mallard decoys that were from the 1990s that's when they understood what a duck head looked like uh, later they kind of lost that I don't know what happened but so anyway that's the spread for today so hope you uh, enjoy the hunt I want to say a big thank you for those of you that have uh, subscribed and also for those who are uh, picking up this widgeon call. Uh, if you like the sound of it, uh, send me one, send me an order, man, and we'll, we'll get them out to you. Um, if you hunt widgeon, that's the call to have. So enjoy. Turn you back on when the birds start. <whistles> Go find it. Tori! Didn't have much of a choice. No, but you broke a wing. That's all you need. Come on. What a good win! Tori.
Oh yeah, that was like there were six behind him. Yeah. Cool. Now that was coming in. Yeah, that was good. I I had that bird dead to rights, and then. Is that the bird you were shooting at? Yeah. I thought there was one over there. No, he never came in. There was only two. So there was one out in front and that one. That bird was going to be dead about a second before he shot. But I was happy. <laughs> well, that's only fair then. Tori, come. Good girl, come. They wanted into that. Yeah, they did. Good girl, Tori. Good girl, Tori. Come. Hey, no. Hey. No pretend rising. Come. Come. Can. <laughs> How did we miss that? Oh, look at it. Look at it. There it goes. It's dying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one's mine. Yeah, that's the one I was shooting at too, so. But go ahead. No, no, that's yours. You're three. I feel like I don't want to do that. <laughs> exactly. No. That was the only one that really gave us a shot. Yeah. But it was coming in over here and I clicked my first shell. It was it was half caught. Yep. Otherwise, it would have fallen. Nice. There we go. Reload. Use my pocket. I you, have to open this up after all. Do you see it? No. You didn't, it feathered. Ah, really? Kennel. Back left, I was like, no, no, no. Well, that's the end of our trip. We think we're at the end of shoot time. I left my phone back at the car, so I don't remember, I can't <laughs> tell exactly what shoot time is, but I think we're all done, so. Uh, we ended up with three apiece, which, wow, it's really kind of weak. Uh, out here I mean we did see a few more birds but nothing really to write home about and uh, a lot of teal so we took a bunch of you know shots at teal at tailwind kind of a thing but um, I don't even think we were successful on a teal so uh, yeah I don't either I got one buffy hen because 
I really wanted her, so I took her. Anyway, it, uh, it was a good hunt. It was, it was all right. Um, really a below average year, uh, if I, if I do say so. I mean, it's par for the course for 2020, but a really below average year for the number of ducks that I'm seeing out here and, and the number of ducks. I mean, there are a few ducks out here, but they're, they're really stale. They really uh, are skirting the decoys, the, the few widgeon that you see are skirting the decoys and, uh, you know, they, they know the deal. So, anyway, it is what it is. We'll, we'll see if we're going to be out next week or if we're going to chase after the, the four-footed ones. Uh, we still have a late late archery tag that we could go fill. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, but, hope you enjoyed the hunt and we'll uh, see you next time. Hey, smash that subscribe button. Uh, we're, we're almost up to 400. I'd love to get there. So, have a good one.